Well, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Well, you're sleeping. Face it, you are sleeping. I got, do I have the right glasses on? I'm still wearing my mother's glasses, but you know what? It's funny, I found a pair of uh, somebody else's glasses. They're not quite as strong as mine, but they don't have the little funny things on the side that everybody keeps teasing me about. Well, anyway, I can't find them, which is, go figure. So, a lot of people get a kick out of when I do, I've only done it a couple of times recently, but a lot of people actually, it's one of the few things I put up here that people actually say, hey, I really, I get a kick out of it when you do that. Uh, I'm, I'm doing news overnight here uh, from the from the Cape Cod headquarters of the Barnes News Network. Yes, BNN has been working around the clock for several days. Um, and anyway, so while you're sleeping, I'm doing the news, and most of what I'm about to say here should still prove relevant a few hours from now when you finally get around to watching this, lazy bastard. Anyway, uh, here I go. I'm going to see because I do have the luxury of... Whoa, and I'm looking at a deadline coming up. I do have to get these uh, newscast uh, segments filed to an FTP site under a certain deadline because they're supposed to be recorded just before they're supposed to going to air on our affiliates. But what happens is we, one of our selling points at USA Radio News is we have a kind of a user-friendly thing. So affiliates might choose to take us at 5 before the top of the hour, at the top of the hour, at 5 past the hour. They can put it in wherever they want. So, which is what she said. But now, the, uh, so anyway, so it's a minute of news and then it's a minute commercial that I don't have to worry about putting in. I just have to do that first minute file, get it in there filed. Uh, then I do a one minute uh, B block, as we call it. And then there's a 30 second spot. And then there's 90 seconds, the C block. And that's where you put kind of the feature stories, the, this is kind of interesting, but it wouldn't, wouldn't be in the first block for sure. Maybe not even the second, apparently. Anyway, I think I've set this up. I think you understand how newscasts sound and go. So really the only thing here is the fact that everybody thinks I'm such a crazy bastard and now you'll see what I'm actually doing here. So as I say, this this isn't live, but it's, I'm gonna see if I can be a one shot, one shot Willie. That's what, Bill Skilling. In Kingston, New York, 40 years ago, I remember him referring to wanting to be one shot Willie when he went into the production studio after his shift because he wanted to get down around the corner to have lunch and a couple of pops at his favorite place. But anyway, sorry, the, the late great Bill Skilling. Sorry, Bill, I'm talking out of school about you. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. The U.S. Supreme Court prepping to open a new term on Monday. Several high-profile cases to consider right off the bat. Among the cases the high court will be hearing over the course of the term is a Mississippi case defending a state law that would ban abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The conservative court has also agreed to hear an argument backed by the National Rifle Association. That one's against New York's restrictions on citizens carrying concealed handguns in public. Former President Donald Trump is asking a federal judge in Florida to force Twitter to reactivate his account. That's right, he is still without it since it was suspended after the storming of the U.S. Capitol in January. The former president's lawyers filing a motion in U.S. District Court in Miami seeking a preliminary injunction now against the social media platform and its CEO, Jack Dorsey. And this is USA Radio News. I think I'm a one-shot Willie this time around.